Android 13. Of course, nowadays Android 13 are releasing and Android 12 and 12.0L is getting older. So in future we will get Android 13 and uh, it's already started. So here we have the shared right. You guys already know about shared right. And this is the room comes with for the first time read for Redmi 7 huge customizations in Android 13 but previously I did a review of uh, two or three ROMs but we don't have any customization but in that one we have a huge customization and video will be longer so don't skip watch till the end so that's a request so watch till the end so here is the about section and let me show you people here is the Android version of course and this is for Redmi 7 and see Android version 9.0 that means and 13 and October security update and which is very latest and kernel use Linux OS plus and Linux OS always and C Android is based on Linux OS and Linux OS kernel always smoother compared to other custom kernel then we have the system as usual we have the system profiles like Linux OS and here we have the automobile default silent and other things you guys can select and we have the gesture and we have the customization in gesture option you guys can just uh, change your peel length and we have back gesture height you guys can do that customization and left edge and right edge swipe to invoke assistant that means the google assistant then we have the 100 mode and which is working perfect you guys can see and just swipe up you are good to go then we have the important feature which is device settings and that will really improve your sound quality if you enable this one so in my sound enhancer you will get some uh, preset for uh, choose uh, rock jazz pop classical whatever you guys will be able to listen music in headphones as so many headphone types are there and we have ambient display and which is perfectly working I checked And then we have the clear speaker and FPS overlay as well. Then we have the shared drive setting. Let's talk about that. And use customization and it will take longer. And here we have the status bar as usual. You guys already know that. And then we have the clock style. Uh, you guys can select left, right, or hidden. And then we have the clock and date as a huge customization cmpm and other things you guys can do that and date format and clock font size can be changed and then we have the network traffic indicator and which is uh, working there here is the network traffic download and upload and status bar and hide the traffic monitor when inactive so just turn off that one and here you guys can see on the top it's working and refresh interval and traffic measurement units which you want bytes per second or bits per seconds so that's it and hide the network traffic indicator arrows if you want to hide that traffic indicator arrows then also you can do that then we have old signal icon and the disable indicator and data disable indicator is just like a boring thing that's why I turned that off so we have here the bluetooth battery status just turn that on then location privacy indicator and colored icons notification account everything is just cool and battery style right and here you can see on the top right corner and battery bar display battery bar if you need the battery bar over the status bar then enable that one otherwise leave it let me enable this one so here you can see on the top and uh, one can green signal and just let me turn that off so that's it and double tap to sleep brightness control and other things are there now let's talk about some quick settings battery percentage and brightness slider and positions background transparency and the important feature which is hide QS on lock screen that means in lock screen your control center will not work if you want to hide your control center then just hide QS on lock screen just enable that feature then we have the hide label level text size and use customizations and here we have that rotate flip x and y other things uh, like this one you will get that animation when just you enable or disable any toggle then we have the data data users let me show you that here 841 MB used today so using Wi-Fi you guys will get that data uses 
and running service shortcut clear notification button and button style can be changed where button background you is also able to change then we have the lock screen media cover art and battery info double tap to sleep fingerprint authentication ripple effect and that's it navigation we have the pixel animation in button i'm using here the uh, navigation peel bar if you use the buttons then you guys will get pixel animation so that's good thing and show arrow keys while typing that's the thing and we have the actions back long press home long press at home double tap you guys can set according to your choice which you want you guys can set huge customizations are there options available click to partial screenshot if you want to take partial screenshot just uh, just short click on power button and volume down button like this just a short click and you are good to go and you can customize uh, which portion you need to select then you are good to go and just save it you are done then we have end call and long press torch and wake device and keyboard count cursor control now let's talk about the user interface and which is really cool and ambient display now let's talk about that ambient display always show time and info if you need that one you guys can do and here you guys can see it's working fine and this is ambient display and working fine and of course it will drain your battery so i don't recommend to use and we have the edge lighting system and solid colors and faded colors light view you guys can customize according to your choice then we have the charging animation full screen applications and screen off animation as well and monitor settings and navbar style use collection you guys can use if you use the buttons and we have the font style some fonts are available just icon pack is like same as Android 12 and signal icons and other things and icon shapes which I am using right now which is playable so that's it now we have the notification reticker use app colored background noise notifications and force stop button show force stop button in the notifications long press menu if you need that one then enable otherwise leave it and heads up allow pop-up notification and flashlight blink for incoming calls if you need flashlight blinking option for incoming calls then you guys can enable this one otherwise leave it and battery light notification light everything can be customizable so that's it now let's talk about miscellaneous which part i miss notification and then we have the sound and pulse of course when listening to music navigation bar uh, pulse system equalizer can be enabled and log screen pulse can be enabled and ambience ambient pulse also can be enabled then we have the volume steps according to your choice you guys can set for alarm and dtmf and music notification ringer system video call or uh, for other things and screenshot sounds and adaptive playback and other things now let's talk about miscellaneous and which is game space uh, the updated one you guys can add any game here and unlock high fps in game and unlock unlimited photo storage google photo storage and swipe three finger screenshot for pocket detection and weather settings everything can be enabled from here so that's the features now let's talk about the security option we what we have here on the fingerprint as it is uh, first build initial build uh, in next updates we will get a more feature like app is uh, app lock and other things face unlock maybe so here we have the wallpapers and we have some built-in wallpapers uh, like this and we have the dark theme themed icons and app grid as well and we have the display settings brightness and adaptive brightness and other things uh, dark theme and live display and rotation settings which is important thing this can customize it and double tap to wake and sleep and wake and plaque and ambient display and sound and vibration uh, according to android 12 it's um, not a change it's just like same as android 12 and we have the charging sounds here but we have at least all the customizations in that room and now let's talk about the QS panel transparency you guys can uh, change the transparency according to your choice and I did it for 70% maybe you guys can do it 0% or 100% whatever you need and we have all the settings here and everything is working fine and dark theme is working and grammy phone that means you guys can turn up the by one click your data
important features are really really working and the mostly important thing is we have built in moto audio that means Dolby Atmos you guys will get it by default like previous uh, pixel experience from I already did the review if you miss just watch that out and now let's talk about that music player is pre-built you guys will get it by default now let's talk about that thing and which is CPU throttling which is 84% and performance is really really great now let me show you the Geekbench score and which is also good and it will be improved if you keep using the room for some days single core 271 multi core 1030 not bad and now let's talk about the smoothness there is not a single bug and starter I didn't get anything it's super super smooth so if you want to use of course you can go with that and we have that uh, dialer and which is USB dialer I guess and there is no customization in that dialer and of course we have that uh, uh, contacts and the messaging application and I will provide another video for my UI 4.0 calling application you guys will get that voice recorder on that uh, dialer so stay connected and we have other things like game space here by default and we have that recorder you guys can record high quality audio here you guys can see recording high quality so these are the things and of course I'm using here the vanilla build and of course the vanilla build is available and you guys can install any kind of G apps which supports under 13 no problem and now let's talk about the camera and here is the camera by default you guys will get two cameras one will be that one and another will be the Google camera go so both are available and of course you guys also uh, can use that night mode in that Google camera of course which is really really cool and which supports a perfect thing hold your camera still so that's it now let me show you here is the PUBG after adding game in game space you guys will be able to uh, select the setting option just click on that and preferred mode you guys can select the performance mode then you guys can play games in high fps and you will get really better performance so let me show you that i'll just show you the game space uh, the gameplay i'll talk about uh, i will uh, say it in the description i'll just uh, write down so in game you guys will get a notification arrow here and you guys can move it anywhere so this is the thing let me show you clearly I hope you guys can see clearly here the pattern you guys can select that settings according to choice and here you guys can see the FPS info disable you guys can enable the FPS info and log gesture and mode performance and FPS info can be seen here 57 and as it is uh, in high FPS mode so that's why you guys will get 58 and uh, up to 60 FPS in that uh, custom ROM so let me show you the settings and here is the graphic settings you guys can see here the graphic settings 90 fps unlocked and in lobby and combat as well and you guys will get better gaming experience in that room it's a really really a cool thing and you guys can check uh, change it just you guys can move it from here and there you guys can move it anywhere according to your choice and the screenshots also can be taken if you want to take like this so this is it Hope you guys understand the video. If you if I miss anything, just let me know in the comment section below. So thank you for watching.